the games that made the whole thing possible. Yes, like Street Fighter 2 that ruined my GPA my sophomore year of college. Yes. <laughs> well, now let's wash ourselves in nostalgia and check out an excellent looking Street Fighter for the Dreamcast. Capcom does it again with a superb translation of Street Fighter Alpha 3. While the PlayStation release was satisfying, the Dreamcast version proved to be more fitting, offering larger character sizes, cleaner visuals, and more of an eye-low time. Continuing the classic Street Fighter legacy, Alpha delivers familiar characters that we've grown to love and hate. Meanwhile, the game stays fresh, with the help of new characters and a noticeable amount of fine-tuning. Not much has changed since Alpha 2, though the new options are considerable. These include the ism, which are combo style came from Alpha 1, Alpha 2, and Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. What should appeal to the single player is the World Tour mode, where each match has their own victory prerequisites. If that's not enough, try out the Survival and Dramatic mode, the latter being a three-player, two-on-one game. Street Fighter Alpha 3 on Dreamcast is the closest you'll get to an arcade perfect version and has enough options to leave your PlayStation version in the closet. And if you think that looked good, get ready for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Yeah, a lot of people were getting ready for this next game. Unfortunately, it's probably time to redirect some of that energy. Yeah, that's how we're battle. Yeah, I hate to do it, but uh, here's some bad news. LucasArts' track record with console games is a fairly rough one. Although they've done decently with the PC, console games come up short. LucasArts' latest offering, Star Wars Episode One Jedi Power Battle for the PlayStation, unfortunately does nothing to improve the company's TV game reputation. In this game, you choose from one of five Jedi to get through the game's ten levels. Each Jedi has his or her own force powers and special items. The game follows the film's plot from the Trade Federation ship to the final battle with Darth Maul. The gameplay is a refined version of that found in The Phantom Menace. You use your lightsaber to carve up droids, to collect blaster shots, to platform hops. You can lock your sights on the nearest enemy with a touch of the R1 shoulder button. The fighting is clearly the best power battle feature once you get used to the control scheme. But there are many points in power battles in which you'll die unnecessarily because of a bad camera angle. Trying to get off a platform jump is another matter entirely. Flashing your way through a few dozen enemy droids only to get killed because it's hard to tell how far away a catwalk is can be very frustrating. The levels are quite long, with no mid-stage save points other than periodic checkpoints. You can be doing fine, then miss a jump, and end up having a lot of backtracking to do. Though not as ill-conceived or badly carried out as this Episode 1 adventure game can, Jedi Power Battle still has enough problems to warrant it a game to be avoided. Videogames.com gives Jedi Power Battle a 5.5 out of 10. Alright, let me reiterate here. If you don't hit the right shoulder button, you're going to be running around with droids kicking you from behind, unable to face them, pretty much like this. Yes, yeah, it's oh. time to take the coolness out of being a Jedi. Yeah, but it's still cool to throw super combo punches. Yes, it is. For those of you that missed Capoeira class this week, check out more fist flying action with the Dreamcast Street Fighter Alpha 3 preview. It's at the GameSpot TV website and part of our fighting game frenzy roundup. All right, then of course, post your thoughts on our message board on which fighting game you want to get your mix on. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or Tekken Tag Tournament for the PlayStation 2 or what? Coming up on GameSpot TV, we look at the import version of the excellent RPG from Square, Vagrant Story. And it's finally out. We step into the dark realms of the highly anticipated Diablo 2.